good everybody. I'm your man Eli Bray. We got a good one for you today. Coming to us from 6th Hour, it's a sports media family. And coming to us from 5th Hour, it's the wit media family. Everybody's here trying to win themselves a lot of cash and a chance of driving out of here in a brand new car. Let's meet our families. Isabel, tell us about your family. This is Ryan, this is Jonna, and this is Anthony. You guys sound like a very nice bunch. Let's meet the sports media family. Carson, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Tell us about your family. This is Mia, that's Reese, and that's Ava, and we all play sports. Alright, that's enough talking. Let's go right into round one. Give me Isabel, give me Carson. Let's go. Top eight answers on the board. We asked 100 UH students, what's what item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? Uh, McFlurry. McFlurry. What does that mean? You might pass the ball. I like the ball. Alright, she's going to go. Ryan, what's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? Big Mac. Big Mac. Woo! Yeah, sir. Jonathan, you got no strikes. What's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? Um, French fries. French fries. Yeah. Woo! Anthony. We asked 100 UHS students, what's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? A hot dog. A hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Good it's answer. Sorry. <laughs> Can I keep it going? We're going to you got one strike. We asked 100 UHS students, what's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? Chicken nuggets. Chicken Nuggets! Yeah. Woo. Good answer. What's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on some bakers? A McChicken. A McChicken! What's one item you might see a teacher working at McDonald's on a Sunday vacation? Um, a soda. A soda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anthony, name something. Name an item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on Sunday vacation. Cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. What's one item you might see a teacher ordering at McDonald's on a summer vacation? Coffee. Coffee! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! With media, 92. Sports media, 0. Give me Mia. Give me Ryan. Let's go. Good luck. Good luck. Top seven answers are on the board. Name something that has the word super in it. Superman. Superman! That was the right answer. Would you like to pass or play? We would like to play. Bring our blood. John, name something that has the word super in it. Super glue? Super glue! <laughs> Anthony, name something that has the word super in it. Something. What did you say? <laughs> Supper. Huh? Supper. Supper? Yeah. Super Supper? Yeah. Supper! Oh. 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 What? You guys got one strike. Name something that has the word super in it. Superhero. A hero. Alright, Ryan, name something that has the word super in it. 
Superstitious. Superstitious. Something that has the word super. Uh, superpowers. Superpowers. Oh. What? Oh my god. What's that? Anthony, you got two strikes. Name something that has word that has the word super in it. Uh, superhuman. Superhuman. Person, your family has a chance to steal. Name something that has the word super in it. Super Bowl. Super Bowl! Oh. What? That's a good answer. That was a good answer. That was a good answer. <laughs> Number seven! Super Mario! Five! Super Natural! Three! Super Califragilisticexpialidocious! Whip Media 140, Sports Media Zero. We'll be right back on Family Feud. Don't go away. When I wake up, I like to sing a good morning song. Make my bed, wash my teeth, time get dressed, eat my cereal. Good morning, Redbird. Good morning, Redbird. Nobby, it's more than a tablet. It's a friend. Hey, look. <laughs> hey guy. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud with me, your family, 140. Sports Media Family Zero. Give me Reese. Give me John. <laughs> what values are doubled? Top six answers are on the board. We asked 100 UHS students if Eli Bray was your neighbor, name something he might ask tomorrow. Reese. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. Football. Oh. Reese, would you like to pass or play? I'd like to pass. Here, pass. You didn't even get to my father's team. Reese, you did. Anthony, if you like Bray, was your neighbor? Name something he might ask to borrow. Your car. Car? Bray was your neighbor, named something he might ask for. Fishing equipment. Fishing equipment. Oh. Alright, Brian, you got two strikes. Here's the deal. If you don't get this, the sports media family can see it. Yep. Eli was your neighbor, named something he might ask for. Socks. Socks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Carson. I want you to know about me. You like Bray was your neighbor named something you might ask to borrow. Food. <laughs> Food! Six. Phone oh, charger. Five. Money. Number three. Oh, and number two. Oh. <laughs> Whip Media 140. Sports Media 76. We'll be right back on Family Feud. Don't go anywhere. What are you doing? You're playing like an old man. Time out. 
Here, eat that. Snickers bar. You good now? Yeah, I'm good, coach. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Hi, Dill Swift here with Flex Gum, the super strong sealant waterproof gum. That's clearly the best way to patch, bond, and enjoy a tasty repair. To show the super strong rubberized power of Flex Gum, I destroyed this Chromebook. Wow, that's a lot of damage. But with the power of Flex Gum super strong rubberized adhesive, I can repair this Chromebook just good as new. Just remove, chew, and stick. Wow, look at that. But not only does Flex Gum's powerful adhesive have the ability to bring a Chromebook back to life, it tastes good too. Flex Gum. Welcome back to Family Feud with Media 140, Sports Media 76. Give me Anthony, give me Ava. Yeah, Ava! Ava. 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 Point values are triple. Top six answers are cool. We asked 100 UHS students, who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Anthony. Uh, Ms. Schwenter. Schwenter! There's another one answer. Would you like to pass or play? Play. They're going to play. I wouldn't be quick to It's a big chance. Ms. Bell, who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Bestion. Bestion! <laughs> Ryan, who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Ms. Novak. This is Novak. <laughs> Alright, Johnny, you got no strikes. Who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Still it's a scoot over. <laughs> Who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Uh, Mr. Gayloff. Gayloff. Oh, sorry. That was actually a pretty good answer. You got one strike. Who is the nicest teacher at UHS? It's Holger. Holger. Oh, so good. Brian, we got two strikes. Mm -hmm. The sports media family has a can steal and win. Who is the nicest teacher in the Dolan! Woo. One answer left. Two strikes. The sports media family will have a chance to see. Who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Mr. Asari. Asari! Carson, one answer left. Who is the nicest teacher at UHS? Miss Hall. Mrs. Hall. Number four. Whip Media Family has won the game. I need two of you. I need two of you. We'll be back on the feud. Stay well. Stay right here. Are you tired of sleeping in class uncomfortably? Try the secret pillow. It's a fiber cushioned pillow with erratic hums to drift you off to sleep at school. The secret to the hums is that it's super quiet, so when you are in class and need sleep, you can put it on the highest setting and sleep peacefully. And it also changes colors to camouflage in class, so nobody knows that you're laying on a pillow. All right, Shield Blue! Hey! That's a lot of damage. Hey, just stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Just tell me one thing. Did we win? No. Tired of feeling that pain anywhere in your body? So was I after I sustained a high level knee injury. The doctor said I'd never play again. 
That was before I came across R&B Physical Therapy. Hi, I'm bringing our R&B Physical Therapy. And when you come here, you get fixed right now. Here at R&B, we have a specialized group of young men and women working 24-7 to make the best flex seal for you. No need for orthopedics. We'll take you out back and get you back on the field right away. Sure, I was a little skeptical at first. I mean, putting flex on your body doesn't sound like a good idea, but I was super desperate at the time, so I went through with it. After I got hurt, I thought my football career was over. That was until I met Braden and the rest of the team at R&B. Thank you, I am forever grateful. Welcome back to Family Feud, the Whit Media family won the game, and now it's time to play Fast Money! Isabel, look at that screen right there and tell me what you're going to win if you and John together get 200 points. $20,000. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Fill in the blank. Here comes the... Boom. Name something you eat at Thanksgiving. Turkey. On a scale of 1 to 10, how messy is your room? Uh, 5. If you, could, if you could do one year of school twice, what year would it be? Uh, senior year. What is the most popular genre of music at UHS? Pop. I said fill in the blank. Here comes the... You said... Boom. Survey said... It's something you eat at Thanksgiving. You said... Turkey. Survey said... I said on a scale of 1 to 10, how messy is your room? You said 5. The survey said... I said if you could do one year of school twice, which year would it be? You said... Senior. survey said... I said what is the most popular genre of music at UHS? You said pop. survey said... It's not bad, it's not bad. Bring in Jonna. Jonna, here's the deal. Isabel didn't do terrible. She got 95. So you need 105 to win $20,000. 25 seconds on the clock. Fill in the blank. Here comes the... Rain. Name something you eat at Thanksgiving. Cranberries. On a scale of 1 to 10, how messy is your room? If you, would, if you could do one year of school twice, which year would it be? Junior year. What is the most popular genre of music at UHS? Country. I said fill in the blank. Here comes the... You said... Ray. Survey said... <laughs> top answer was son. I said name something you eat at Thanksgiving. You said cranberries. Survey said turkey was the number one answer. On a scale of 1 to 10, how messy is your room? You said 3. Survey said 4 was the number one answer. If you could do one year of school twice, which year would it be? You said junior. Survey said senior was the number one answer. What is the most popular genre of music at UHS? You said country. Survey said... Country was the number one answer. That was only 141 points. It's $5 a point for $705. That's all for Family Feud. We'll see you next time.